Here now is James Freeman from the Wall Street Journal. He is also a Fox News contributor. There were so many nuggets of news there for everybody watching the market and everything else. Um, let me start with, he talked about Mario Draghi, and he talked about what was going on in Europe. They said, are you going to demote Jerome Powell? He said, let's see what he does, you know, something like that. He said that he thought Mario Draghi, they just did a beautiful thing. Um, we know that they signaled that they're going to be potentially adding more stimulus into the economy over there. Um, what, what did you... What does that signal to you? What do you think happens? Yeah, I think the president uh, doesn't like the euro getting weaker. He thinks it's bad for uh, exporters uh, in the U.S. I think a lot of people in the U.S. like to have a strong dollar. But uh, uh, look, the uh, European uh, Central Bank monetary stimulus, uh, they, they have done so much of it. You now have for the first time in 5,000 years of recorded history, we've been the last few years in an era of negative rates over there. So. Yeah. Maybe they're going to push them lower. That's really not the solution to their lack of economic growth. They need other reforms. No, but he's looking at it and he's saying, I would like some, too. And if you heard yeah. Larry Kudlow um, on Fox News Channel earlier today, he said the bond market is signaling that they think Jerome Powell is going to lower rates. And, and you know, Mr. Kudlow said, and, and you know, we wouldn't mind that. We, they're independent and, you know, we don't tell them what to do, but we would love for them to lower rates, too. So it sounded like President Trump right there when he was saying that Mario Draghi did a beautiful thing. You know, yeah. he's hinting not so subtly that please Jerome Powell follow suit. And maybe that gives our Fed a little more cover to do something similar. Let me ask you about what he said there at the end about China. Um, he said they want to make a deal. We want to make a deal. It's got to be the right deal. I mean, we've heard all that before. But we also heard from Kudlow earlier today that they're going to be talking ahead of this big meeting as the two leaders get together. You know, the staffs on both sides work on some of the details, given all of that. And that's what, you know, bumped the market so much higher today. We're looking at the Dow up 353 points. What was your take on his comment there and where you think we are with China? Yeah, it was interesting. He said, uh, we'll see if we can get a deal. It's got to be good for both sides. He didn't just say good for us. And uh, he had the usual grace notes about how he has a good relationship with Xi Jinping. Uh, there's pressure on both sides. Certainly, uh, you see the costs uh, to farmers, to manufacturers in this country. You also see stress on China. You yeah. see it uh, disappointing industrial production there. You see some stress in their financial system. So I don't really buy the... Uh, the idea that uh, Xi, because he's a dictator, he can have this uh, extremely long-term view and, yeah. and necessarily yeah. wait Trump out. I, I think there's big incentive for both of these, uh, one, our legitimate leader, their illegitimate leader, to cut a deal. To get together. We want to tell people what you just saw there was you saw the president and the first lady um, get aboard Air Force One. They're heading down to Orlando for that big event tonight. One last question. He was talking about immigration. Obviously a huge sticking point. No doubt he's going to talk about that a lot at the kickoff tonight to the campaign. Um, he said that um, asylum and the loopholes, they were both things that could be fixed very easily. Um, that he would like Democrats to get to work and anyone in Congress and get a deal done on immigration that both sides could hammer something out in about an hour or an hour and a half, I think he said. Um, he was also asked the other day in an interview, you know, what he would give up in order for these things. And, it, you know, he seems willing to give to get at this yeah. point. Do you think Democrats are? Uh, you wonder how many uh, invitations they I don't know why they don't make a public offer and say, yeah. OK, we'll give you this part of the wall. You give us uh, this change in asylum law and you give us the uh, dreamers uh, yeah. legal status for people who were brought here as children. Uh, there seems to be an obvious way to make a deal. I don't. I don't think America is necessarily better off given our worker shortage if we start shipping all these people uh, over the back over the border. But uh, look, if he's saying I'm going to uh, enforce yeah. legal deportation orders, it's hard to argue with that. So yeah. you wish finally uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer would take the obvious deal on the table. You, you think that if they were smart, they would throw out something, no matter how outrageous it is, and say, here's our offer. And the fact that they don't even do that makes you think they don't want a deal at all. So we'll see.